Hello good people, welcome back to Valhalla. I am Roy and this is a series of videos talking about how to assemble a DIY Core XY 3D printer which you can do yourself, you can buy all the parts and whatnot. Links down below. So this is part six, the bed assembly. Let's go. So part six in building the Wii Baby. The first step is that you take this Wii slot at 290 millimeters for the stock size. So let's first assemble the C carriers. Here you can see the C carrier and I actually did some improvements to this just yesterday. This length used to be 20 millimeters. It is now 40 and we have this notch going into the V-slot. We will have better straightness in the build. Everything will line up much better. If you already printed the old version, you can still use that or you can change to this one at a later stage. I'm not gonna go through all the steps assembling this uh, C carrier because it's the same as the Y carriers as you saw in part 5. So have a look at part 5 up here. Follow the same principle for the C carriers. Then I want to add the idler bracket for the motor side to our bars. So this is going in like this and it also defines the distance between these bars. I'm not gonna go through the steps assembling this because you have the, the, the hub model and you can see it here. It's pretty straightforward. We have the idlers, we have the shims, we have the bolts, the washers and nuts and the T-nuts of course must be inside the Wii slot. We are also going to add the screw here of course. Then we can add the fixed bed support. I also have made some improvements to this one. It's a little bit wider. I found that the small one was a little bit wiggly. So I wanted a wider one. I made this one just recently. You can upgrade to that if you want. It is fixed with two M5 by 10s and the open build nuts. Uh, no washers on these guys. So add this support. It also helps define the distance between these bars. So just add it to a random place and we, we are going to adjust it later. Then we have the third C carrier, which I call uh, the B. There's A's and B's, so we have two A's and one B. And this is going on the end of these guys. This is the 350s, which goes in the Y direction. And you can add that um, loosely. We are going to adjust it later. And then we have this guy again. So we have two of this one. So we have already mounted one here. And then you want to add one here the same way actually. We're not going to use this hole for this one. This also you can fix in a, a random position about what you see in the CAD model. And then we are going to adjust this later. Then you can add your C carriers, the motor sides, to the crossbar. So now it should all look like this. So not, now I just added this guy also. Uh, remember, insert the T-nuts before you add the C carriers. Now it's time for the bed supports. So this is the bed support for the motor side of the printer. It's pretty straightforward, nothing special. I did exchange this nut, it was a normal nut. I added a lock nut so these guys don't slip around. So we want a lock nut here now. So let's have a look at this guy. So this is the bed support. It just rests on top of the thumb screw. So this is the thumb screw. And inside the thumb screw, there is a lock nut it's going inside here. We have an M5 by 20 here. And then there's the M5 by 10s with the open build T nuts also, which must be inside the crossbar before you attach the C carriers. Also add this to a random place about what you see now in the video. 
and then we can fix it in place before we add the bed. So two of those. So now what do you want to make sure? So now let's add the bed. So what you have to do now, you have to adjust the distance on this guy according to these guys. So that your bed just fits inside and it should be a little bit tight. Also adjust these guys so they grip on the side of the bed. It should not be like very tight because it will expand when warm. So center everything. If you already came this far, I'm sure you're able to center the bed. This is a 210 by 210, six millimeter thick. So yeah, we have some room. Before we place this assembly into the frame, you have to take off this carrier. So just loosen that and we can put it into the frame and attach this guy of course also here we have the wheel need to be attached after you add this guy add these guys to these extrusions before and then add the frame into the carriers so just check that the frame runs up and down very smooth not too tight not too loose and then tension all the bolts and whatnot and you're good to go so next step is going to be the electronics and then we should be done thank you for watching remember to subscribe stay safe and i'll see you soon